Um, I think I'm just going to read some very small poems uh, from a new book uh, called How I Discovered Poetry. The book started in my mind as a book about the 50s, about growing up in the 50s. And in my case, uh, it mean, uh, means growing up in the military, family, my dad was uh, in the Air Force, uh, and uh, was one of the last group of Tuskegee Airmen. Um, so I'm going to read, uh, the, my, my book starts in 1950 when I was four years old and goes to 1960 when I was 14. So I'm going to read one poem from each year of that decade. So uh, the first one here is called Church. <coughs> Why did Lot have to take his wife and flee from the bad city like that angel said? Poor Lot, imagine having a pet flea. I keep mine on a dog. But maybe the fleas were bigger in the olden Bible days. Maybe a flea was bigger than a dog, more like a sheep or a goat. Maybe they had flea farms back then with herds of giant fleas. Jennifer squirms beside me on the pew, sucking her thumb, nestled against Mama. Maybe Lot and his wife rode saddle fleas or drove a coach pulled by a team of fleas. I giggle soundlessly, but Mama swats my leg, holding a finger to her lips. Uh, the, I'm just going to read them very quickly. This is uh, 1952. Uh, for me, part of the exercise was aging the voice. 1952. Bomb drill, uh, Lackland Air Force Base, Texas. Nothing belongs to us in our new house except Mama's piano and our clothes. I'm the new girl in Dick and Jane country, the other children faceless as grown-ups. I read through recess and take some books home. I read to Jennifer while Mama plays. I read while the television talker talks about career and the hydrogen bomb. Mama says she's going to vote for Ike. Daddy says, woman, you just think he's cute. <laughs> we duck and covered underneath our desks, hiding from dragon bombs in school today. Maybe dragons would turn into butter if they ran really fast around a tree. 2052, I'm skipping. Uh, reading in alternate years, um, 54, uh, this is uh, called Bad Name, Smoky Hill Air Force Base, Kansas. The dishes washed and dried, my homework done, and Amos and Andy still an hour away, I kneel with crayons at the coffee table, drawing and coloring, round head, round eyes, half circle eyebrows, and half circle mouths. Segregation means people are kept apart, and integration means they're together. TV is black and white, but people aren't. There's a bad name, mean people might call you, but words aren't sticks and stones. At school today, James told Mrs. Liebel he didn't say that name at me. He said, he said, don't be a nookie hitter. That's when you just poke the tetherball instead of punching it. 